Good afternoon. Welcome back to Question and Research. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share. Also, follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description. The person today that we will be doing for the Black History Moment for today is Hazel Johnson. She's the first Black general in the United States Army, as well as the first Black chief of nur nursing for the U.S. Army Corps. Um, she grew up on the East Coast in Pennsylvania. She grew up on her father's farm. And what made her interested in nursing is when she saw a white woman who was a nurse and that encouraged her. So she applied to Westchester, but at the time they did not accept her because she was black. So she ended up applying to Harlem Hospital and she moved to New York City once she um, was accepted. Now, she started her Army career in 1955, and it ended in 1983. Um, also, I would like to mention the years that she was alive. She, she was born in 1927. She passed away in 2011. So she was the first female general in 1979. Also, as well as being the first black chief of nursing at the United, in the United, United States Army, so she was responsible for 7,000 men and women who are nurses. She also had eight Army Medical Centers that she was responsible for, 56 community hospitals, and 143 standing freestanding clinics that she was responsible for. Now, her, her education didn't just not, did not just stop at getting her training at the Harlem Hospital in New York City. She also earned um, her bachelor's from Villanova. She also received a master's from Columbia. And she also received a doctorate in education, educational administration from the Catholic University. Now, as mentioned before, she was, she enrolled in the army. She applied, she got into the army right Right before she applied or was accepted into the army, the president at the time, he desegregated the army. So some of the things that people don't realize in this day and age, everything wasn't just for the land of the free for everybody, especially for African-Americans. So she got in. So that's really good. So she she was very educated, very knowledgeable. Um, she was very responsible for a lot of people. Who wanted to be nurses and and she strived for what she wanted she went after what she wanted now after she retired from the army she served as a director of government affairs for nursing at george washington university and while she was doing that she was uh, developing health policy while she was working she also became the associate associate dean um, for undergrad undergraduates at the University of Maryland. So those are a few things about Hazel Johnson. And also, she pledged Delta. Now, I'm not a part of a sorority, but that's really good. All that time, she used her time wisely. She was educated. She became a Delta. First black woman general of the United States Army. She also was the first black woman or first black person to head the nursing corps for the United States Army. That's very admirable. She went after what she wanted and got it. And I really like that about her. Um, so if anybody ever feel down, come back to my channel. Look at some of these videos. Look, It don't matter what race, creed, ethnic group you are, who you are. Think about some of the things that people have went through for them to reach their goals. So here's a quote from Hazel Johnson. And she also goes by Hazel Johnson Brown. Positive progress towards excellence. That's what we want. If you stand still and settle for the status quo, that's exactly what you will have. So go for what you want. I'm going for mine. So I want to thank you for coming to this channel. Comment, like, subscribe to this channel. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. It's question and research. The description should be in the um in the in the bio or attached to this page somehow because I did switch the link over here. So go to my page 
and give your opinion. Thank you and everyone have a blessed day.